Governor Polis made a smashing entrance as he called for a special session after voters soundly rejected Prop HH, which was billed as a property tax reduction. I'm Tori Mason. The governor has called lawmakers back to the state capitol a week from tomorrow. He says it's urgent to find a way to lower property taxes. Our Kennedy Cook joins us live from the state capitol. Kennedy, the governor says time is of the essence. Good afternoon, Tori. Now, while Governor Polis made it clear that he was disappointed that the long-term property tax cut didn't pass, he came prepared to come up with next steps for short-term property tax relief. During today's special session, Governor Polis said that Coloradans need short-term tax relief now. He's called on the General Assembly to convene for a special session to cut property taxes and provide Coloradans with relief. Governor Polis says he plans to provide immediate relief for the Coloradans who are at risk for major property tax increases by utilizing the $200 million set aside by the General Assembly and Proposition HH. That didn't pass. Governor Polis also said he's hopeful the General Assembly will agree agree on additional property tax reductions for this year. Do nothing. Uh, Colorado homeowners are facing record property tax increases. There's already some relief that's been passed by the legislature for this year, uh, but we have the ability to do more and frankly the responsibility to do more. The cost of inaction is too high. Now, another item on that agenda is a special session to bring $35 million to Colorado families, low-income families, that is, with children. And that special session is scheduled for November 17th. Live in Denver, I'm Kennedy Cook covering Colorado First. Thank you, Kennedy. We have more of our reporting on Proposition HH and the other Election Day results at CBSColorado.com.